Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay, date is 4th February 2023. Time right now is 6.02 in the morning. I was asked by um, some of the guys who watch UFC. I also love watching UFC. I see UFC, Bellator. I see most of these fighting sports. I kind of like it. I do watch sometimes the boxing and I love documentaries. I love the documentaries. I especially love the uh, reality shows, the Ultimate Fighter seasons. I have the old uh, uh, seasons and you would not believe I still watch them uh, when I eat food. That's one of my favorite, uh, you know, uh, entertainment or relaxing moments. Okay. So given that uh, Dana White, uh, for those of you who don't know, he's the, he's the man for uh, uh, UFC or MMA. He created a power slap. Power slap, for those of you who know, uh, you know, this slapping contest, if you check some YouTube videos or you would see two guys standing there and one slap and, you know, the guy he completely gets rattled, but he comes back and hits another, gives him back. Russians, actually, it was very popular there. And Dana White has now made it a kind of an official sport, uh, getting it licensed. However, it was not without its controversy. And um, um, many states have complained about it. Many fighters have complained about it, who are not part of the power slap uh, league or whatever. And uh, doctors and people are saying you'll get concussion. And obviously, there are risks and all. You know, your whole brain gets rattled off. And... My stepfather, <laughs> my stepfather used to beat me when I was a small boy. He used to hit me so violently as to feel the ringing in my ears. My face used to swell. Uh, you you really feel it, you know. It, and this is not just like a slap. It's like uh, you're getting hit with force, real force. So it's like taking a punch, but not actually like a fist, but flat. And there's a lot of impact. It's like uh, you know when you're driving and suddenly you just hit something. So what do I think about this? Is it good? Is it bad? I'll give you my thoughts. Okay. And I've made seven points. Uh, feel free to agree or disagree with what I'm saying, because obviously, uh, you know, I'm sure you also have a point of view. Okay. Now, obviously, given the fact that I am a UFC fan, I love UFC. I love Bellator. I love fighting. So obviously I'm biased towards the sport. But I'll give you the logical reasons why I say the sport should be allowed, even if there are risks. Why? The first one is you're talking of grown ass men or women, grown ass men and women who are making grown, you know, grown ass decisions. It's it's a grown up person. You're not talking of small children. These are grown up people, people who are in their 30s, 40s, who are 18 plus, And they have decided, I want to do this. They're not small children. That is number one. Nobody's forcing them. Nobody's putting a gun to their head. Nobody is saying, uh, you do this or your family is in trouble. No, they are volunteering. They are putting their names uh, and uh, they're going ahead. And keep in mind, uh, the UFC is very cautious because it's a public company. Um, I don't know if it's publicly traded. Uh, I think it is. I'm not too sure. You can correct me about this. Uh, but they would definitely not want any scandal. So they make sure that the people who come there, they are being tested by the doctor. They're giving health tests. Um, there is a doctor available on site. You can't ha have that unless you take uh, licensing. And uh, they give them a lot of tests. There are physiotherapists. There are people. So it's made into a proper sport. It's not just random from the road. Anyone will come and just slap anyone. Uh, like there was one guy who had only one eye. He was really good, but they didn't give him the permission or the license because he had one eye. He couldn't see from one eye because they evaluated. What if you lose your other eye and then you become blind? So, you know, it's it's like a proper sport. So you're talking of grown-up people making grown-up decisions. And, uh, you know, once you're grown-up, you can do whatever you want. That is why when people tell me, oh, look what she has done. She has put surgery. She has done it. And it's a grown-ass person. She wants to put uh, feelings. She wants to put Botox, she wants to change her gender. Once you're grown up, he or she do what you like. That's what I believe. So that's number one. Number two is it is giving them an opportunity to earn money. Now, obviously, I know you'll say, oh, they're paying peanuts, $2,000 only. I'll come to that. 
But point number two is they are being given an opportunity to earn money. And I'm very sure that the money that they were earning was not as high as what they're getting here. Obviously, if someone is getting like uh, earning uh, $100,000, let's say, example, or $10,000 a month. Do you think they would, uh, you know, sacrifice $10,000 just to earn $2,000 for a show? No, it is people who are earning less than what they can possibly earn. They are the ones who would want to go for this. Whether it's, see, there are a lot of boxers, a lot of MMA fighters, a lot of uh, Muay Thai fighters who are living like in the slums. And for them, fighting for even $5 or $10 or even for a bowl of rice, there are so many bodybuilders who just for a supplement, just for a supplement would um, give them photographs, videos and all that. You know, it's, you do not, you know, only if you're in the sport, you'd know how tough some people's lives are. Some people are not earning anything. And then they have this opportunity to earn some money here. So why not? For most of them, they are thinking to themselves, okay, I make some money at the side here. I get $2,000 if I win. Why not? Okay, so they get an opportunity to make money. Okay, I'll come to that low pay. That is the last. Number three is they're getting an exceptional opportunity to get famous. Fame in today's social media day and age is very, very important. Publicity, eyeballs. And most of these people who are in the power slap, I'm very sure before power slap, you never knew who they are. Now you get to see, oh, he, uh, like there are some two, three characters which I saw. His name is Slap Jesus. Another one is Be Jesus. Or <laughs> one is the, the Rock and this and that. They get all fancy names and uh, the tank and the truck and this and that. So they are getting an opportunity to be famous. And if they are smart and intelligent and they play their cards, right, they can use this fame to get sponsors later on. And uh, they can start their life if they are not signed up with the UFC. Obviously, if you're signed up with the UFC, you can't take in sponsors because UFC doesn't allow that. I understand that monopoly part. But that fame makes you a known brand. And in today's day and age, once you're known, that will always help you at least, if not for the uh, long term, not, not just short term, at least medium term. It will help you for s at least a couple of years. Okay. Point number four is, uh, man, it's entertainment end of the day. Okay. There are various kinds of entertainment, whether you're talking striptease or strippers or dancers or um, boxing or footballer. It, it's, it's an entertainment. Uh, like you have WWE, that's an entertainment. This is a kind of a sport that is entertainment and it pays money. So you want, you take part. You don't want, don't take part. Then point number five is, okay, this is one area of concern, the health risks. Okay, fine. Let's assume you're absolutely right. Okay, fine. You don't want them to take part in the slap competition. Fine. What do you want them to take part in boxing? By boxing, there are less risks. You say, no, 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 boxing is also bad. Then what do they take part in? Dancing? Dancing also, you can break something. You can twist something. So what do you want them to give up all Everything that has risk and take up a desk job as a type, uh, typist or accountant. Uh, it's very easy to comment on other people's lives. And remember, anything in life has risk. Yes, there are some things which have more risk, like Muay Thai. The, the people literally, they break their bones and their bodies and all that. It's terrible. Uh, children as young as four and five are put into Muay Thai training and their brains get rattled. They have CT, all those injuries. Yes, there are health risks, but what doesn't have risks in life? And then again, who are we to tell them, you don't do this, do that? If we are not paying them money, we can't rule their life, right? So yes, there are health risks, but what would you rather have them do? If they don't have any skill, any talent, they have only this. Well, you can't do anything. Point number six is, um, remember this much, in any sport, there are risks. And in any sport, damage is always there. So that comes with the territory. So if you are getting into any kind of sports, be it cricket, be it football, anything. Man, in football also, there are some gruesome injuries if you actually look at it. So that is part and parcel. Now, finally comes the, the low pay, which I'm sure many of you would say, hey, Dana White pays them peanuts. Huh? Listen, he's paying them $2,000. Is there any other league that is paying them 5000 Go there. If someone's paying you 10000 go there. I'm pretty sure there must be some league out there who's paying big money. 
but would they pay you like for example whatever job you are doing right now i'm pretty sure you must be complaining morning and groaning that my employer doesn't pay me good enough there are many companies that pay you big salaries go there but you know for a fact that even if you go there they're not going to take you why because they're looking for certain caliber they're looking for certain roi which you can't give them so that's the same thing here right they know why it is not forcing them on the sign you sign but once you sign you are bound by contract you don't want to sign don't sign so he doesn't need individual people more than he needs a group of people to make it happen and given the resources the contacts the connections dana white has i am very sure uh, his business model is not dependent on one person see overall what i feel is power slap like any other sport initially would have its detractors would have its critics would have people saying this and that the same thing happened when mma started they called it human cock fighting they called it gay um two men are rolling naked and it's a gay love stuff and all that this is boxing is safe a boxing is a sport mma is not well things evolved they got better they brought in rules and how uh, ufc started it started with the most dangerous sport in the world what uh, no rules no ru- uh, no holds bar so, you know a fight to death kind of that was their slogan but today it's become a proper sport so even the power slap league i'm i'm pretty sure it will change evolve and become better and i find it very entertaining i'll tell you i especially like to see people their backgrounds where they came from their struggles why they are doing this and it's not always a good guy who always wins or the guy you think would win so for me it's entertainment i enjoy it i endorse it i think uh, they should go ahead with it and uh, you know we'll see where it goes man uh, end of the day like i tell people nobody is forcing you to see it nobody is forcing you to take part in it and nobody is forcing you to be in it don't want it just don't watch it then don't watch it, it doesn't exist right so these are my thoughts what do you think uh, let me know i'm very sure many would say insurance and uh, low pay and all that man you can uh, uh, you know you can give lots of ideas lots of suggestions end of the day all these are a business and each one whether it's the fighters or it's the organizers the promoters everyone's looking for their big cut so they're looking to lose the least and make the most so that's how capitalism works i guess anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to know your thoughts and your comments this means signing off and yes i would definitely watch Dana White's Power League slap. Slap Lee? Slap. Yeah, Power Slap. Okay. You take care. This means I'm off. Mm-hmm.